Okay, so we have a pulley. I haven't drawn in the support stand for the pulley, but the pulley is on a support stand. The pulley's not going anywhere. It's staying stationary. I have two masses that are connected by a string. One mass is 200 grams, the other one is 100 grams. Once we've hooked it all up, we're going to let go. When we let go, mass one will accelerate downwards, mass two will accelerate upwards, the pulley will have an angular acceleration causing it to spin. What I would like to know is the magnitude of the acceleration of mass one. But that happens to be the magnitude of the acceleration of mass two as well. Since they're connected by a string, that distance between them is going to stay constant. So however fast mass one is falling is how fast mass two will rise. Okay. The pulley is no longer massless and frictionless. The pulley is going to rotate. It has mass. There's friction between the string and the pulley so that the string does not slide. Okay. Excuse me. For the masses, the masses themselves are just moving in straight lines. So we can use the traditional F equals MA for our masses. Mass 1 has a force of gravity, which is M1G, and it has a force of tension. I'm going to call it force of tension 1. Mass 2 has a force of gravity, M2G. It has a force of tension, force of tension 2. Force of tension 1 and force of tension 2 are not the same when the pulley is massless, has mass and friction. Whenever the pulley rotates, those two tensions are not the same. If they were the same, they wouldn't be able to make the pulley rotate. Okay. The pulley, the pulley has a force of gravity acting at the center of mass. It has a normal force from the pin that's holding it in place. But then it has the force of tension pulling on this side and a force of tension pulling on this side. Of the four forces that are acting on the pulley, only the force of tensions produce torques. The normal force and the force of gravity do not produce torques. And that's because they're acting at the rotation axis, at the center of mass. Any force that acts at the rotation axis will not produce a torque. Okay, torque, you need the lever arm. You have to have some distance from the rotation axis in addition to the force. So the only two forces that are producing torques are the two tensions. If the tensions were equal, the torques would be equal, because they're both acting at the same distance. The pulley wouldn't be able to rotate if the tensions were equal. So we know the tensions are not the same. What we need to do is we need to write equations for mass 1, for mass 2, and for the pulley and relate them all together. The force of tension 1 pulling up on mass 1 is the same as force of tension 1 pulling down on the left hand side of the pulley. Force of tension 2 pulling up on mass 2 is the same as the force of tension 2 pulling down on the right hand side of the pulley. So this force is the same, this force is the same. Okay, so mass 1. Are you okay if we go ahead and call down positive so our acceleration is positive? Do you mind that? So for mass 1, I'm going to call down positive so that we just have acceleration being positive. So adding up the forces, we have M1G that's downwards. Force of tension 1 is upwards, so we'll subtract that. Those are the net forces acting on mass 1, so that has to equal mass 1 times its acceleration. So there's one equation. If we knew what the force of tension was, we could easily find the acceleration, but we don't know the tension yet. For mass 2, I'm going to call up positive since its, it, since its acceleration is upwards. So we have force of tension 2 upwards minus M2G, which is downwards. Those are the net forces acting on mass 2, so that has to equal mass 2 times its acceleration. 
these accelerations are the same. Okay? The force's tension is not the same. So we don't have in, enough information. We have three unknowns. We don't know force of tension one, A, or force of tension two. But we haven't looked at the pulley yet. Now the pulley is going to rotate. That rope, that string, is going to make the pulley rotate as the masses move. We can't use F equals MA for pulleys. This equation is perfectly valid, but it will tell you the acceleration of the center of mass. <coughs> what is the acceleration of the center of mass? Zero. So basically, there's no net force acting on the pulley. The net force acting on the pulley is zero. That means the normal force is big enough to counteract force of tension two, force of gravity, and force of tension one. But that doesn't tell us what force of tension one or force of tension two are. For the pulley, we need to look at the net torque is equal to I alpha. We need to use Newton's second law for rotational motion. 